bad tortillas here, and just when you thought this couldn't get any better looking, oh yeah, feast your eyes on a blued, barreled matchlock. This is from Military Heritage, of course, but with a little bit of custom touch, she's ready to rock. Now we gotta do a little more testing, as you're gonna see later in a bit, but she's doing nice. She's ready for the cabin fever, I wanna say. And that's going to be great because it's a testament to musketry. No knocking anyone's style, but talk about class when you're coming in with the very first shoulder-fired weapon. Now, I had said harquebus before, but harquebuses are bigger. This is only a 75 caliber, so let's be realistic, arquebus. So stay tuned, guys. So coming back to it, guys, these bad boys... As the grandfather, or the OG of all firearms, I mean, you could go with the handgun. You could go with that as an older style, but it wasn't shoulder fired, you know? So being realistic, this was the first. Now, hunting with it is difficult, because you get game lined up, you gotta make sure it goes off, right? Now, go with store bought. Now, the trick with matchlock hunting, you gotta be able to have a consistent match. Slow match, that is. I'm running with October countries. So, you know, it's not necessarily the traditional musketeer style, but most musketeers were noblemen. It's not a fact, it's just a statement of opinion from texts I've read. Feel free to, you know, tell me the truth, or at least the truth to your knowledge, as everyone's truth is equivocal based on awareness. So, what you may be aware of, something I'm not aware of, therefore, a fantasy could be a reality. For some and the opposite for others but enough on the philosophy let's get this lit and rolling so you got your slow match let's see it come on baby see it's going but it's too wet to get our powder going or so see that's it the trick is I am determined to get this as an effective hunting musket. Now, we're talking jump shots. You got to be ready to get it to go, and that's the only issue with this so far. I mean, turkey hunting, with the flintlock, I've had one incident where it didn't go off. And that was my fault, not it. So I'm going to take responsibility for the matchlock as well and assume that any time it doesn't go off, it's my fault. So let's try placement. Take two. I mean, that seems pretty good. Might have been over. So, point in case. That's where we practice now. So when we're doing the challenge or on the hunt, we're not regretting it later. And it looks like it just places right above. I'm thinking that's going to be direct. So let's do it up. Send it. Yeah, and you can see the powder. It's just that wet. So. What do we do when it's that wet in the air? This beautiful state of Colorado. Well, we do what we do with flint locks as well. At least what I do in the field networks. Switch to 3F. Now you're gonna think, why would you go 3F? It's a little bit tougher, you know, it's a bigger grain, so it's not gonna be as hydroscopic, you know, sensitive to the water in the air. Now, with that being said, you're gonna have a whole other, you know, some people say, it's a slower, but that's why you put less. So it's not necessarily that slow of an ignition. So let's see how this goes. Going 3F testing. I think it was a perfect land. I'm hearing sizzle, but I'm not hearing the good. Yeah, and you got spark right next to it, but no dice. I'm an incorrigible type. Think I'd give up that easy? Oh no. 
back on that 4F. Because I'm hoping, regardless of the sensitivity, we can get something going. Now, we're not using this for self-defense means like it was back in the day. And I wouldn't want to imagine what that would be like. But of course you have more time to practice. It's not like you have to go to work and feed into the capitalist system. Now in this case you have to defend your territory, your land, your king, depending on who you're talking with. And that was final. Because that was pretty good. But let's see how we do. Let's go again. You know, you gotta test. You can't just say it was good the first time. See the second time, you know, and then there's a third. And then, of course, you got to actually test in the field of application. And after it's proven at the range time and time again, then and only then will we take it to the hunt where real life is placed on the line. Because not only do we feed our family with that food, but we also, you know, you want to be respectful to what you're hunting. You can't just go out there and shoot at something. Oh, maybe I got it or didn't. No. Shoot once, it's dead. That's it. And this has... A notorious knockdown power. I mean, y'all saw the. See, we got it. We got something going. It's trying. It's trying. I'm gonna try that a little bit different. Well, we got it to go so far, so I'm not giving up. But as y'all have seen in the video, this thing loaded with just 90 grains of 1F Swiss. It had a mean hit on that box. Now granted that box is a box, but the box was put at 45 yards. Good distance. Had a water jug in it. Had some stuff. Got knocked the hell out. And I hit low, which was again, for practice, you gotta get good because I'm not gonna, I don't wanna hit low on any sort of game because for something like this, I'd hunt Jack Rabbit, Turkey, I want, but you know, I don't know how a Turkey would do necessarily with this because they're not gonna smell the burning match, that's for certain. I've seen on sites and I've seen on channels. I mean, obviously people fed themselves with this, but that doesn't necessarily mean I can do it. With practice, I'm gonna give it a swing and maybe I can. I mean, I didn't think I could do it with the flintlock and sure enough, there I was. I've hunted my whole life, but I've never hunted with the flintlock. So hunting with that was so wicked. So I wanna definitely do it again. But not with the flintlock with this. I want to like, you know, break. And that was three for three. So obviously, I'm going to clean that up. This is definitely ready for the cabin fever challenge. It's all about placement. And you'll see this baby get down on it. want to get you a good view of that bluey. It's not going to do justice, but you'll see in action. The hunts, the glory, cabin fever. But as always, guys, stay up, stay true, stay honest to yourself, because if you're not honest to you, how can you be honest to anyone else? So, take care.